Hey, YouTube. Okay. Sorry. It's about the 30 minutes. So, let's see. I was... Yes. So, at my updo, I just twisted up and I will be wearing that when music is kind of loud, right? Okay. Alrighty. I will be wearing that when I go to work, but for right now, it is what it is. Um... Now, I guess that was four tips, and my last tip is that I I think I have a before picture that I will put up right now of what my twist looked like when I first, first, first did them, or, yeah. Okay, and then what I did was, after you take your twists down from the updo, they're all over the place. They're crazy, they're nutty, and you're like, oh my god. So, I just put my scarf on at night and I wake up in the morning. And then what I do is when I take a hot, I take a shower. This is great for everyone who loves to take hot showers and get the steam. The steam and mist from the shower makes your hair like flat. And and then also puts this little curly thing, makes it curl up a little bit. And I love that. I love when it, when it doesn't just lay straight. I love when there's a little like curl on the end. You see it? So I love that. And it doesn't frizz your hair or anything like that. But if you notice that it's a little frizzy, you can put some more cream on it, which I which I do to select ones that are, you know, are acting out of order. Give them a little beating or retwisting or whatever. So you just twist that acting up. So um, yeah. So that is what I do to keep my twist looking okay. And this is just what I found so far from the couple of times that I've done twists. And they seem to work really well. Um, the shower method I really like. Like, I got out the shower and I was like, wow, I feel like a whole new person. Like, trust me, when you do those updos and you take your hair down and they're all, your hair's all over the place, you're going to be like, what am I going to do to fix this? And the smell is, okay, it, it smells like it's natural and it's good for your hair. And... The only thing about this cream is that it has castor oil in it as the first ingredient, and then olive oil, and then water. So technically, this is not the best moisturizer for your hair, which is why I think it works so well over this conditioner. Because the conditioner is a good moisturizer. It's a, a deeper, it's a deeper moisture conditioner. So I think these two work really well together. The only problem is, is that both are really expensive. <laughs> I mean, this is not expensive in itself, but for what you get, eight and a half ounces, and the bottle is not thick. I mean, they give you this little um, ergonomically de designed bottle <laughs> for $7. So, it's a little, uh, you have to use, I have to use a lot on each section. So, this has lasted me about four or five, and that includes four or five applications, and that includes co-washes, when I was using it for a co-wash, and then, and then as a two times, I use it as a leave-in. So, um, this stuff, I twisted my whole hair up, and, you know, it wasn't full, so... I think this goes a long way, but this is about, I forgot, I want to say it's about 18, no, 18, sorry, I want to say, I think it's more than $10, I'll, I'll get back to you on that, right, and then, while I'm doing a little bit of reviews, my sister bought me Alba, she bought me the, um, the body wash, the heavy cream, and the salt scrub. I love salt scrubs um, because you can go in the shower and then you can put the you can put the salt scrub on and then rinse it off and your skin is moisturized. But don't forget to uh, actually wash your body first, ladies, before you put the salt on because it's not a it's not a cleanser. It's just like it exfoliates and and moisturizes, but it's not a it's not a cleanser. I got these rough elbows here. <laughs> Gotta put it on there. Okay. Um, and I think that's it for right now. So I got so many new subscribers. Well, not so many, but I got a noticeable amount. Um, and I love you guys for that. Love you ladies and gents. I hate when people characterize and say guys. It's not. 
I don't like it. So I love you ladies and gentlemen for subscribing. And um, thank you for all the comments. I will get back to them as soon as I get back from the court. And maybe I should, you know, no flowers, just rocket natural. Just, that's it? Yeah. All right. Um, and I just wanted to show everyone my bag that I got that I love. Because, you know, I'm more around fashion. So it's a little thing bag. But it's so funky and so retro. Look at the pin. Pin says Foxy Lady. And this pin says um, Save Water. Shower with a friend. And this pin over here says Make Snow, not War. <laughs> and then on the side it says Boop, Love. <laughs> and Love Hate. <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with that. But the F Love right now, yeah, definitely. So I thought this bag was so funky and so retro. I had to get it. So I'm going to take care of my tickets because New York State is a son of a B when it comes to owning the money about their tickets. <laughs> so everyone have a great Monday. I hope not a lot of you are working because that sucks. <laughs> I have to go back to work tomorrow, but it's only for one day and, I, and I'll, it'll probably be a half a day. So um, love you guys. Talk to you later. Peace and blessings. Bye.